guys, Charlie the Plumber here. So it's lunchtime, November 16th at Shady Acres, 39 degrees out. Sitting here, I've seen one small yearling and a second medium or size small yearling this morning. Would like to shoot me a doe today, but I got a couple of issues I'm addressing right now. First issue is we had our place clear cut about five years ago and we had a lot of tall ash trees that were starting to get the bugs so we had them come in and cut down. I sit in the end where it was all very large open timber to start with. I've got a creek on two sides of me. The soil here where we're at is a black mucky soil. Here's my issue. So I'm sitting in a pretty open area. So this area is pretty open. I've got a food plot in here that runs, oh, it's probably only a half an acre. It's not real big. But my goal is to create some trees and some cover other than just the tall grass that's here. We tried to plant oaks years ago. We come in and we got 500 of the oak seeds. So we went through and we just pushed the seeds down into the dirt. Well, in the process, obviously, 500, we put one here, one here, one here, one here. You know, so we really didn't put them with any knowledge as to where they're at, thinking, okay, you know, maybe we can get a couple to grow. Now, I don't know if they didn't grow because the weeds overtook them too quickly, or if there was too much water, or what the story was. So my question to you guys, what do I put in here? I am going to increase my food plot next year. But I watch deer to the north of me, 150 yards north. It is a neighboring property, and they come and go through there all day. Years ago, we used to be able to hunt that. They come and go out of a giant cornfield. It's a cornfield slash 50 rows of corn, 50 rows of purple top turnips or rye or wheat or something like that, 50 rows of corn. So they're in and out of that thing for, for bedding and food. And my concern or my thought is, what can I do here so I can get the same deer travel? I mean, you know, these deer have traveled the same places for 100 years, for 40 years that I know of. And we got the clear cut to bring them onto our side. And we are getting more deer on our side. The nine point that I shot actually come right down through the middle of the woods. And I see a lot of deer come down through the middle of the woods. You know, it's like anything. You want more. We want more. We want more. So what's your game plan? If you were a soil conservation guy, how would I fix this? Would I go through and weed kill it and then disc it and see what comes up? Or do I weed kill a small amount and put a already started tree with a fence around it, cage around it? Uh, I've thought about putting some apple trees out here. You know, the, obviously we can't bait, but if there's trees out here, you know, these are natural trees. So tell me what you think, guys. You guys are the professionals. I'm a plumber. I fix toilets for a living. Darn good at it, but I do fix toilets for a living. So tell me what you would do. Tell me how you would do it. Tell me what you would put in here for a food plot. Right now we got the rape rye, clover, stuff like that. Next year we're talking about putting buckwheat in. Is that a good food plot? You know, we normally plant in July. And we'd like to be able to hunt this, obviously, October. Usually November, I am not here. Usually we're in the UP. And December is a good time. We come up here black powder hunting the second week in December. So it would be nice to have some food in here for that. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate everyone stopping back by the channel. Don't forget, Charlie the Plumber, Facebook, and Instagram. Send me a little message, guys. Tell me where you're at, what you're hunting, what kind of food you got in your area. Is it good? Is it not good? I had a guy reach out to me from Texas. Said, hey, you ought to come down and hunt my lease. I don't know anything about Texas. That would be cool have always done all my hunting in Michigan. I did do a little bit of wild boar hunting in, heck, I think it was Tennessee. High fenced area. We did it years ago. It was fun. Let me know where you're at, what you're hunting. 
Tell me the seasons again. The seasons kill me. They've got black powder early, you got bow season early, you got this season, that season. I'm always interested in doing something, going somewhere and checking out how other people hunt. So maybe someday we can hunt some of that South Territory or North Territory or Big Bucks or whatever the case may be. I'll come down and shoot your does. I have no issue with that whatsoever. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys did well this year during your hunting season. Stay safe. Stay strong. Family. Make sure you take care of your family. Charlie the Plumber. One of the few things in life you get for free. Even during deer season. We'll see you guys later.